they say, you know, we're never supposed to bury our children. So what was, how were you feeling? What was your, your thoughts and your mindset going through all this, the last four days of his life? Well, you know, when I met up with him at the hospital, so when Ben underwent surgery, he essentially never woke up from that surgery. He had a cardiac arrest while he was in recovery. They were able to revive him and stabilize him, but he never woke up. So realistically, he took his last conscious breath in Afghanistan and never never woke up. When he got to Walter Reed, he wasn't conscious. He was in a uh, medically induced coma. And that was to protect his condition, to keep him stabilized. They did determine the day after he arrived that he was brain dead. And they told my mother and I that uh, the doctor did. Uh, one doctor sat us down in a room and told us that. And when he told me that, um, I had my, my only moments of anger because my brother, 27 years earlier, had died from brain death as well. And I thought, uh, my question was, you know, how can God do this to two mothers in the same family? And that's when I, I got angry and, and I shouted that. And then I, I realized that my mother was sitting right next to me. And I, I look, and we were literally in, in like an oversized chair. So there's enough room for two people to sit in. And so she was right next to me. If I turned my head, you know, her nose is almost touched. And she had tears streaming down her face. And I realized at that moment that this loss wasn't just about me, that there's a lot of other people in this world that love my son. And they were going to be missing him as well. We got to spend, I got to spend five days with Ben at Walter Reed. It was, it was five days before I had to walk away and they um, harvested his organs, recovered his organs for people that were received for the recipients. He was never conscious, but I got to hold his hand. I got to talk to him. I got to tell him how much I love him and how proud of him I am. And I, I feel incredibly blessed that I got to have that I got to have that time with him. I'm, I'm not a family member that had to get a knock on the door and, or had to go meet a, um, a casket, a flag draped casket at Dover. And, and I, I wouldn't wish that.